Uh, hello, uh, this is another message that I forgot to speak about. Uh, I was going to speak about uh, being hardened in heart these days. Uh, these days you can see it all over the world that people has their hearts turned into stone. Even Christians, many Christians, many people, even me. And I apologize for everybody, to everybody that if I, if I, if I had hardened heart against you, and if I spoke anything harsh against you, please forgive me. And please, please just uh, forgive me. It was probably my arrogance and that I that I had a hardened heart or any disputes that I had with you. Forgive me if I spoke harshly. And I realized that uh, it is my arrogance that has really caused people to turn away from my message. Not and they they seen how I reacted instead of uh, instead of seeing the tr the message that I wanted to tell others. Um, one thing that really shocked me in the Bible was that um, when Moses was trying to take out the people of Israel out of Egypt, you know, God has worked many miracles, showed mer many miracles before the Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, you know, and then Pharaoh, it says a Pharaoh hardened his heart after seeing the miracles, you know, he, he hardened his heart because his magicians were, were also be able to perform perform certain tests that was <clears throat> that was same the miracles that were same because uh, <clears throat> obviously those magicians used the demonic powers and you know they were able to create miracles just as how God was able to create miracles and then God showed greater and greater miracles that the magicians no longer could um, perform against them and magi magicians even told the Pharaoh that this is of God but this and it says God uh, it says Pharaoh hardened his heart again and again <clears throat> and then after a certain point guess what <clears throat> uh, God's God's miracles has really convicted Pharaoh that he is really the Lord and he's really true God and then when uh, Pharaoh was convicted it says then God hardened his heart God hardened Pharaoh's heart after that because previously the Pharaoh hardened his heart over and over and God says you know I'm not done this time I'm not done the Lord Lord is not done so um, God hardened his heart just just so that he can show more miracles and more wrath upon the Pharaoh's country because like what what the miracles were like almost like curses upon the country of Egypt and you know uh, um, many many people are hardened hardened their heart these days and no real they're they're not they're no real people just people without heartfelt emotions uh, many people they have no real tears anymore in their eyes when they see uh, injustice happen when they see the poor when they see the sick when they see the insane people all they all all we these days even Christians you know they look at them with no real emotion but the coldness of heart they look at these people like they're they're not accepted or anymore you know when, when you see the, the wicked and when you see when you see uh, the prostitutes prostitutes on the street the gangsters on the street you don't have any emotion to pray for them but you judge them instead and this is wrong and I don't want to end up like one either and this is just this and this is not science this is not psychology. That's only for cold-hearted people, in order to justify themselves of their feelings. And this is not this emotion stuff. It's not about psychology. It's about the trueness of heart. And our our hearts have been turning cold and rock hard because we see such calamities. And even in our own lives, we harden ourselves. We harden our hearts because some people offended us in many ways. And you know, and God sees us and and the there's no real heroes anymore who, who genuinely care for the people. Where are the genuine people who really care for the world? Who care? Who really care for the sick, the lost? You know, let's not harden our hearts for later on. God will harden our own hearts for our own destruction. So, you know, if you're an atheist, you know, just have an open mind. And when you see mighty miracles being done in 2009, do not harden your heart for greater things will happen and again 
and please have an open mind and if, if God has convicted you even one second about Jesus then please do not harden your heart but rather have an open mind and speak for your own self just ask just just say a simple prayer just just say if Jesus Christ if you're real then give me some real proof and and with an earnest truth true truthful heart that seeks the truth not not an arrogance heart if you're real come and show yourself no not like that because you know that's just arrogance and God, God will not respect that at all it's not the time to do that world calamity is gonna come soon and those who follow the Lord genuinely will be blessed in this year but those who have not seek the truth and the Lord you know you'll you'll face a lot of a lot of convicting surprises in your life and you know a lot of a lot of wrath of God because of his name is being being thrown upon you know so please guys this is really important Just have an open mind and do not harden your heart even though when when convicting moments of God has truly come upon you in your life do not harden your heart for God will later on harden your heart if you if you if you do if you've been ignoring the truth if you if you really ignore the truth then God will ignore you so uh, this goes out to everybody Christians non-Christians atheists unbelievers believers you know open your heart to Jesus Christ because he is real and when you truly seek him I'm not trying to fool anybody I'm not trying to deceive no one because it doesn't help me at all why would I do this for you? You know, what, what do I what do I gain out of trying to tell that Jesus is real? You know, it's only between me and God. But you know, I, I don't gain truly anything from you know trying to tell you that God is real. But He is. Just seek Him with a truthful and earnest heart. The humble, humble and humble yourself. You know, and say, Lord, I truly want to know You. If You're real, please give me some signs. Give me some evidence that you are real and guess what God will really answer those who genuinely with a truthful and uh, an unstony heart you know, that, that I've asked because a truthful heart God will not hate so ask guys if you don't know don't ask the other people ask God himself you could do it you can just talk just say it even say it in your heart or say the prayer in your heart you know, and if you want to seek Him more, go ahead and read the Bible for your own self. Not with a judgmental mind, but with an open mind. You know, you could, you could, you can be judgmental and look, huh, this is not true. Oh, look at it. I don't know. This doesn't seem like this, like a fairy tale. Don't be like that. Just give a possibility. Maybe this is true. Maybe this really happened. You know, because we never know. We never know. You are never there, there to see these things happen. So don't be judgmental, oh this is scientifically wrong, no, you know, don't be like that, but seek. If, if the word coincides everywhere in the word of Bible. Alright, so God bless you all, and if you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask me. You know, I'll answer your questions. If you have any questions, any kind of a God, or well, just message me. Alright, and thank you for listening to my message, and uh, God bless you all, and may God save you and convict you of the Lord Jesus Christ and may may everybody be saved in the name of Jesus and pray for those who are lost in the name of Jesus amen